Welcome to the Cold and Dark Start tutorial for the Phoenix A320. To get the plane into a cold and dark state, open up the EFB, go to the Phoenix app and the panel states option. So here we select cold and dark, you can either activate it immediately or set it as your new default and restart your flight. With the plane in a cold and dark config, head up to the overhead panel, turn on both batteries, turn on external power. Turn on the fuel pumps and set the IRS to NAV. Switch on APU master and press the APU start button. Once the APU is available, turn on the APU bleed. Wait until the pack fault lights extinguish. You don't need to manually switch the packs off for engine start. Head down to the pedestal. Set the engine mode to start and flick the starter on for engine number two. You'll see engine two start to come to life automatically. When it's ready, you'll hear a click shortly followed by an available message on the ECAM. At this point, head back down to the pedestal and you can flick on the engine number one switch. Engine number one will also come to life automatically and once both engines are available, Head back down to the pedestal and set engine mode to normal. Returning to the overhead panel, we can now switch off the APU and APU bleed and of course the external power. The jetways and doors are automated but you'll need to manually disconnect the GPU on the EFB. And don't worry about the GPWS warning that you saw, that fault clears as soon as the IRS has aligned. And there we go, we've successfully started the engines on the Phoenix A320. In this video, we just did everything at the gate for demo purposes, but if you are following real procedures, you'd obviously take time to sort out your autopilot FMC and lights, and you'd start your engines as you were pushing back. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe, as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care, and I'll see you next time.